Hello everyone and welcome back. On um, this video I'm going to show everyone my process for making an ortho mosaic map. I used three different types of software. I used uh, Pix40 Capture on my phone. I used Adobe Lightroom and I used ArcGIS Pro once I had stitched together the imagery uh, to finally make a map. Of course I also used a drone. I have a DJI Mavic Platinum Pro. I had never used Pix40 Capture prior to this video, so I'm going to show everyone how I used it. Uh, it was really user friendly and uh, really didn't take much time to get up and running. How I captured the imagery, how I stitched it together, and then finally what I did with it to create a um, high resolution raster imagery file once I was done with it. First thing you're going to want to do is open the Pix40 app, and you'll see this screen here. I actually have a an Apple phone that I use for actually capturing my imagery and I'm doing this video on my Android phone so I, I think they're a little different but for the most part are pretty much very similar um, you can see we've got some options for mission types here I won't get into to really any of them other than the, the grid mission for 2d maps so you click that and you can see we've we've got our grid here it's kind of in a default size. Um, you of course can change the shape and size of your grid. You can rotate it and then you can grab it in the middle and move it around. Um, also you can select your flight altitude over here on the left. I flew my mission at 200 feet and then um, once you've selected where you want your grid the size that you want all those parameters it's going to give you uh, the size of the area that you're ph photographing and also the the flight time if you make your grid too large it actually will alert you that the flight time is going to be an issue and flight time and battery life um, and then if you try to fly too high it also alerts you that you're flying too high uh, the higher you fly the less flight time that's needed because of course flying higher you're capturing a larger area with each photograph but also it's going to be relatively you know it's going to be lower resolution because you're ph photographing a larger area um, with the same sensor the same camera so that it's kind of up to your discretion and I'm sure it's probably specific to your project and what you're trying to do you can also press this refresh button and it'll create that same default grid you can if you move around and maybe lose your grid you can click this button and it's going to bring you back to it and then that button on the bottom left if you click that it's going to bring you to wherever your location is right now also you can click this button and get aerial imagery if you'd rather have that as your base layer once you get your drone connected and your flight mission created, you can click start and then next and you'll see some connections occurring between the drone and the app. And then you can click start again. The drone is going to automatically take off vertically and head for the start point. And then it's going to start taking photographs along the flight mission that you've created. Eventually once it's done with the flight mission, it's going to head back to the home point where you took off and land itself. You can interrupt this process at any time by pressing pause and land it yourself if you're more comfortable doing that. Once it's landed, it's also gonna start downloading images. You can see here, I've got 104 total on this project. Once it's done downloading images, it's gonna prompt you to open the project. And when you've clicked that, it's gonna show you the completed flight mission, where the pictures individually were taken, it's going to display all the photographs from the flight mission on the right. Stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to take all these photos into Adobe Lightroom and stitch them together. And then take that completed image into ArcGIS Pro to make a map. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like. And if you like our content and want to stick around for more, maybe subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everyone watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.